What's up guys, Nax Tech here, and in this video I'm going to be checking out the browser performance of the Nexus 4. Now we know this has an S4 Pro in it, which is clocked at 1.5 GHz. It's a quad-core CPU, so you expect the browser performance to be pretty damn good. You can see I've got ASOP installed here, and you need root to do that, and I'll go through that later. Um, but I'm going to start with what the default browser is, and that is Chrome. So let me just go ahead and hit up the settings here in Chrome. Get rid of the data, all that browsing data stuff. Um, let me just say what's good about Chrome. You know, it's got all the uh, great syncable tabs. It's got all that nice stuff. It's got a nice little animation there, in fact. Um, but it's got problems. And let me go ahead and show you the problems. If we go ahead and hit up The Verge, which is always a, an intense website to test, um, you can see we've gone to the mobile version there. You can see there, you, it wasn't very smooth. It dropped some frames there, and you saw the uh, white blank space. We should not be expecting that on such a high-end device, in my opinion. Um, so let's go ahead and hit up the real website. And I've just got to say, the uh, websites look very, very nice on this screen. Some people say the colors are washed out. I tend to think they look more natural than the AMOLED tones, but it's basically opinion-based. And let's have a look here. So you can see a massive white gap there where it should have already loaded and I had given it time. It's not quite as smooth as you'd want it to be. It, You know, you can see it, it's dropping a few frames there, but otherwise it's quite fast. Um, pinch to zoom. Now pinch to zoom is interesting on this phone. Oops. Pinch to zoom is interesting on this phone and it's a bit annoying. Um, it's not just in this browser, it's actually throughout the whole uh, Android OS, but it's not something to do with Android 4.2 because it's not on my Nexus 10. It's got to be something to do with the uh, pinch to zoom driver or the touch response driver in the screen. Because if you watch here, as I start to zoom in really closely, it doesn't respond to the pinch to zoom gesture. If you go ahead and try this on your Galaxy S3 or other phones you've got, you'll see it zooms in straight away, but not on the Nexus 4. And that's really, really annoying. So you have to wait for your fingers to be a few centimeters away before it starts recognizing recognizing the zoom. And you can see there it starts recognizing it around there and stops when it gets further in. Now, it's not horrible. Um, it's just an annoyance. You might have to zoom in three or four times. Here's Chrome showing its ugly head again. Um, three or four times before you get to the desired zoom level that you wanted originally. You can see here Chrome just kind of sucks, right? Look at that, another blank space out of nowhere. Why? It was loaded, right? Um, but this pinch to zoom thing is a real issue, and I hope it can be fixed through a software patch, but I'm not completely sure. It might just be the fact that the screen isn't quite as responsive. And what I just want to say about this screen is it's kind of similar to the iPhone in the fact that the touch layer um, has been integrated into the LCD screen, which means the pixels are closer to your fingertips, which means you kind of feel like, you know, you're actually touching the pixels, which is great. But similar to the iPhone 5, it seems the response has gone down. And you can definitely tell that's evident in my pinch to zoom gesture. It does nothing in this short range, whereas the other phones do. And, you know, it does better there, um, which is really annoying because it seems like it'd be very, very smooth if it would just start pinching zoom a bit quicker. Let's go ahead and load another website. Hit up Android Central. Android Central, here we go. And again, we've gone to the mobile version. We'll go ahead and click the full version down here. And we're away. And we're still loading up here in Chrome. You can see there, it's not quite one-to-one. -one. There is quite a delay between my finger and the way it moves, which is a little bit annoying there. Um, again, massive white spaces as I quickly zoom around the page um, again there. But once it catches up, it's okay. Again, on this website, you can see the pinch to zoom, pinch to zoom, pinch to zoom is uh, smooth. When it gets past that little sensitivity problem, it's absolutely fine. There's no issues whatsoever. Um, but I hope that can be fixed. I don't know if it can be, but let's hope. So you can see there are massive white spaces. It can't keep up again, Chrome. I don't know why that is. We'll see if the other browsers fare better. We'll go ahead 
now and go over to some benchmarks not www dot we'll just go ahead and put sun spider in here and the sun spider test is a test for the core javascript performance so we'll go ahead and run this and while it's running guys i'm just going to skip to the results and we're back guys and that is a very uh, slow score i've actually scored around uh, 1500 to 1600 on chrome before but i'm going to go ahead and write this down in a little chart like i normally do and we'll see which browser performs the best so that's a very very slow uh, score in the sun spider test on chrome and you know it just goes to show you even more why i don't like chrome it, it's it's just too damn slow i just don't understand why the hell it's uh, this slow i mean i think it's better on the nexus 4 than it is on the nexus 10 or any other device i've seen it all looks pretty pretty smooth in general but it just it's just slower than other browsers and i'm gonna go ahead and run over to peacekeeper which is another benchmark peace maybe it's not www let's just type in peacekeeper here we go And it just see the pinch to zoom is actually quite smooth. It's a shame that it has that little bug where it doesn't realize it straight away because I think it would be very, very smooth. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click go. And again, guys, I will skip to the end. Okay, guys, and the results are up and it scored 416, which I can already tell you is not a very good score. You can see here. It comes below the iPad 4, the iPhone 5, the Galaxy S3, the Apple iPad 3rd generation, the Apple iPad mini, the Nexus 7, the HTC One S, the Apple iPhone 4S. Um, again, I'm going to write this down, but it goes to show you how bad the browser is on Chrome on the new, uh, on Android 4.2. So let's quickly move off that page because, you know, it makes me feel a bit sick. HTML5, we're going to go hit up now. Um, let's just test how well your browser can support HTML5-based stuff. Well, this is one that Chrome actually does quite well on. 390 and 11 bonus points. Let me write that down. 390 plus 11. But... I mean, maybe this is the reason why it's so slow everywhere else. Maybe it supports so much more HTML5 that it just go ahead and, and slows down um, in the other tests. I don't know, but it definitely isn't worth having all this stuff for the compromise that you get. I mean, you can see there, it just doesn't load quick enough when doing simple stuff. You know, you shouldn't get these black uh, blank spaces like that on a quad core 1.5 gigahertz CPU, it just should not happen. So the last test I'm going to go ahead and run is browser mark v2. Just go ahead and type that in there. Browser mark v2, there it is. And we are waiting for it to load. There we go. So you can see it's got it mobile Google Chrome 18, the WebKit version, pick Europe, because that's where I am, and launch. And again, guys, this is another long test, so I'm going to go ahead and skip to the end. And we're back, guys, with the results, and it's got a high score of 1832. And you can see here your browser is superior to 55% of all phone browsers. 55% um, for a brand new phone with an S4 Pro really isn't good enough i don't think if you go down here to the best phones bit okay, the galaxy nexus with the i don't know what build that is but a certain build of android mobile google chrome score 2838 so i don't quite know what's happening there um you know it might be a custom rom or something like that but we should be scoring better here and i'm going to go ahead and write that down um, but that's kind of disappointing, right? There's one more test I'm going to do, and it's kind of a 3D test, and it's the Microsoft Fish Tank test. Microsoft Fish Tank, here we go. Oh, the fish bowl, that's the one. 
And basically it's kind of test the uh, GPU acceleration in the browser. So you get a, a frames per second score. And we're waiting for it to installize here. There we go. You can see at the moment we are running, where are we running? Basically running at 60 frames per second. When we zoom in and out, we uh, we drop some frames, but that's obviously always going to happen. Now, I mean, this 10 fish, I should be able to change this fish thing, but I don't seem to be. I mean, this is just a complete mess. Um, I don't know why that is. So I can't really can't really show you much more about the performance because I can't actually click the damn fish number and change it. So thank you, Google Chrome, for that. So that concludes my uh, Google Chrome testing. We are going to move on now. Um, not I'm not going to do SO first because you know. You have to be rooted to get it. So I'm going to go ahead and do a Dolphin browser first, which if you remember my Nexus 10 videos performed much better in general tasks anyway. So if we go ahead and hit up The Verge again. My camera shaking a bit. I don't know why it does that. Okay, um, looks to me already like it's better performance. You can see it just zooming around here and no white spaces or no gaps appearing anywhere. The pinch to zoom thing still has that same bug. You can see it doesn't recognize the gesture until my fingers are a few centimeters away. Like I said, that wasn't a Chrome thing. That was just an Android 4.2 or possibly just this LG Nexus um, screen problem you know it might be a problem in the pinch to zoom sensitivity driver i don't know but you can see here i mean that is, that is very smooth it's probably the smoothest i've had on a phone and whoops and is very comparable you can see there the double tap double tap text clears up very quickly it zooms in beautifully um it all looks great this in my opinion is very very nice it's very close if not on par with uh, iOS browsers now you can see the speed is is there the clarity is there the pinch to zoom is there nice and smooth barring that uh, annoying error that it seems to get when I can't zoom in straight away but it's all very very nice and very smooth let me go ahead and try another website here we'll hit up Hit up Android Central. Again, nice, nice load times. It's all very quick as you'd expect. I am on Wi-Fi with a good connection. And if we zoom down this page, again, no white spaces, no blank spaces where it should be loading and not loaded. Um, so you can see here just already in in actual user performance it just beats out chrome super smooth on the um on the pinch to zoom there on chrome I, I thought it lost a few frames every now and then when zooming in it doesn't seem to on this browser you can see the response as it keeps up with my finger it's not quite one to one with my finger there is a little delay but it's it's getting better you know it's Getting nice, and that speed is fantastic. You know, you can just zoom in here, zoom into that, and off you go. So let's go ahead and run some browser benchmarks on here, and we'll start like I did with Chrome on Sun Spider. Sun Spider, here we go. And I've already run it, but I'm gonna go ahead and run it again. So there we go, guys, and I will skip to the end and show you the results. And we're back with the results, guys, and Dolphin Browser has scored 1599.4. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Now, these aren't the best scores I've got with my uh, Nexus, but they're not that far off, really. Um, they're just not where I would expect them to be, though. Oh, my God, I've actually written that in the wrong one. Never mind. Um, 
they're not quite where I expect them to be. I, I expect it to be faster. But there you go. Benchmarks are just numbers uh, at the end of the day. And, you know, this is still very, very smooth. I haven't had any issues with it not being uh, not being smooth. So take them as you will. Let's go ahead and hit up Peacekeeper now. Make sure I'm not on the uh, yeah, the Android one, otherwise, the Peacekeeper chooses different tests to do. Sun Spider one shouldn't matter. Just it feel this browser already feels better to, than Chrome to me. And there we go, guys, we're running, so I will go ahead and skip to the end. And it's just finished up, guys, and it doesn't score much better. Um, it gets a, a score of 481 on Dolphin. I don't know what's going on here. This is just, I don't know. It, it, these seem these seem exceptionally low. Um, you can see it says Safari 4.0. I don't know why it does that. Um, but yeah, that's that's another really low score there. So I don't know why that is. Hey, it's TML5 test now. Um, like I said, benchmarks are just numbers, even though it is nice to have high numbers. Um, 298 and three bonus points, so not as good as Chrome in that one. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and hit up Browser Mark. Whoops. Browser mark. This browser seems much smoother and faster to me than Chrome does, even though the benchmarks aren't. They are higher than Chrome, but they're not as high as I thought they would be. So we'll go ahead and hit Europe. Um, yeah, Europe and launch. And again, guys, I'll see you at the results. And here are the results, guys. Let's just zoom in, and wow, we've got a score of 960. So Chrome actually creams Dolphin here. Dolphin, I feel Dolphin uh, looks like it needs an update to uh, work on the LG Nexus 4. You know, we've got your browser is superior to 7% of all phone browsers, um, which is absolutely shocking. Um, I don't believe that one for one second. Um, like I said and showed you in the earlier loading websites, it was actually faster and smoother than Chrome. So that's very strange. Now, the last test we ran last time on Chrome that failed miserably was the uh, Microsoft fish tank. So let's go ahead and look at that. Or the fish bowl. Was it the, uh, the fish bowl? Fish bowls mark. Here we go. Let's see if this actually loads it properly. Don't know if you can see that, but it does say initializing in the middle. If it doesn't work here, I'm just going to totally scrap the uh, the benchmark. You can see it's uh, well, it is kind of loading. Well, this is very very strange. And this just goes to show you why I don't think dolphins working properly. Oh look, the number of fish is up there. But we are stuck on three. So, you know, at least on 10, the crow managed to get 60. Um, we're getting three on dolphin, which just goes ahead to show you. I don't know if this has just crashed, but I'm going to say it's got three. Um, that I think Dolphin does need a workaround, does need a fix. Something's not quite right there. Just seems to uh, free. Or maybe we can. Uh... No. Okay. Screw you, Dolphin. 
Last up, guys, in my test is going to be the ASOP browser, and this is my browser of choice on the um, on the Nexus 4. I'm going to go ahead and, and close, clear the cache and clear the history. So it just does this properly. We'll go ahead and close this out. Open that again. And let's just go to the websites I went to last time. So The Verge. Verge.com. And we're going to the mobile site, as you can see at the moment. Zoom down to the bottom very quick there. By far, I think this is the quickest of all the browsers available. But like I said, you have to be rooted to be able to get this. I think there is one that kind of works, but it didn't work for me on Android 4.2, which was, uh, what was it called? It wasn't Bo, it was um, Ocean, Ocean Browser. You can see there, pretty much one-to-one, -one, but still some lag. Zoom to the bottom, very, very quick, just as quick as Dolphin. Again, this is better than Chrome. And the pinch to zoom, very, very responsive. Apart, well, very, very smooth, not really responsive apart from that problem we've had on all the browsers there. It doesn't quite zoom straight away. It does seem a bit better on this one, but not much. So, yeah, very nice and smooth there. I can zoom around the page, no problems. The other one I did was Android Central. It's Android Central. And there we go. While it's still loading, I can zoom around and there is no white bars or anything like that or blank spaces where it should be loading. Pinch to zoom again. Nice and responsive. So, yeah, both of the, all three of the browsers definitely in real world performance. I've, I'm giving it to the SOP browser. Chrome is by far the worst and it's even more shocking that that's the default browser now. Um, so yeah, please Google do something about that one. Let's go ahead and hit up Sun Spider. First of the benchmarks. Zoom in there and run. And I'll see you at the results. And here we are with the results, guys. Let's zoom in. So 14.93. So that is the lowest of any of the tests we've done so far. Um, but I can tell you, in comparison to the iPhone 5, the iPhone 5 with Safari seems to score under a 1,000. I think it actually scores between 700 and 800. So I don't quite know what's going on with the Nexus 4 here, but it's really underperforming in the browser benchmarks than uh, in comparison to the iPhone 5. So I'm not sure why that is, but the a ASOP browser is scoring the lowest of all the browsers I've tested so far, and I'll show you my little chart that I'm making at the end. Uh, next up is Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper, you can see it's loading very nicely, pretty quick, because I don't know why these scores are quite so low. I think the Optimus G with the same processor scores a lot better, so. Maybe it's an Android 4.2 thing, I don't know. Third thing, and hit go, and I'll skip to the end. And we're back with the results, guys, and you can see it scores 483. So very close again to what Dolphin scores. Um, the whole Peacekeeper benchmarks in all of them have been pretty disappointing. You can see where it comes in comparison to every other device. And I just don't know why that is. I just don't know if that benchmark is having problems with Android 4.2 or if just the browser sucks. Um, it's as simple as that. I mean, it comes below the Nexus 7, and this is going to have an absolutely epic, epic CPU and GPU. I don't really believe the benchmarks because oops, it's been a lot quicker than most of my devices. And, you know, I have the Galaxy S3, and I did a comparison. The Galaxy S3 was faster at loading um the page and uh, presenting the page but i still prefer the the browser on the nexus 4 because it all seems like it's running at 60 frames per second either way we'll go ahead and move on to the html5 test 
HFML, HTML5, test. And it scores 298 plus 3, so exactly the same as Dolphin there. Um, yeah, so, you know, look at that. When I did that on Chrome, it had uh, blank spaces and, you know, it wasn't that smooth. You can see there it's, it's much smoother and faster. And, you know, I don't believe those benchmarks. Whoops. don't believe those benchmarks because it's been very, very quick. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and move over to browser mark. We're getting to getting close to the end of our uh, browser benchmarks here, guys. Europe launch. Whoops, Europe launch, and off it goes. So, yeah. And there we go, guys. The score is in. It scores 998. So again, not a good score in in the browser browser mark. You can see your browser is superior to 8% of all smartphone browsers. Now, I'll, even though everything else has failed on this, I am going to go ahead and try it anyway. Um, okay, here we go. Chrome's actually done the best on this, even though I couldn't change the number because I think I didn't see it on the top. It got 60 frames per second for 10 fish, and Dolphin seemed to three uh, freeze as soon as it's loaded and stayed at three frames per second. Um, so that's that. <laughs> and we are still loading here, guys. And yeah, this is the same as Dolphin. It's uh, it's frozen on two. So there we go. Let me just close that out of the way and move that, and go ahead and move this back into shot. Now let's look at Sun Spider. Chrome scored nineteen nineteen. Uh, ASOP actually scored fourteen ninety three. I put those in the wrong thing. And Dolphin scored nineteen uh, fifteen ninety nine. So you can see ASOP has the best JavaScript performance. Peacekeeper, they're all pretty similar except Chrome scores the lowest. Chrome scores the highest in the HTML5 and the browser mark by quite a margin. I don't quite understand what that is, um, but that is a massive margin between those. And in all honesty, you can see that I'm quite disappointed in the browser performance of the Nexus 4 looking at the benchmarks. I'm not disappointed of the actual performance in real life. I mean, on this list, it shows Chrome, especially in browser mark, should be the best browser. That's just completely talking out its arse. You saw in the real world performance, it was kind of slow. It dropped frames on pinch to zoom. Um, it had blank spaces where it hasn't quite loaded yet. You saw in both the ASOP and Dolphin, who scored 998 and 960 in browser mark V2, um, there was no blank spaces, no lag on the pinch to zoom, very, very quick altogether so these these browser benchmarks only mean so much um i am a little disappointed that they're so far away from each other and also that they're so far away from the 700 to 800 of the iphone 5 i think google really need to do some stuff now of course this is a nexus device and what that means is you get the latest updates quickly um so when new android versions do come out you'll get them here first um, it happened with the Galaxy Nexus, you know, it wasn't great when it came out and then Jelly Bean came out and then it was the fastest phone available. So yeah, keep that in mind guys.